What's up, guys? It's Daniel here from Daniel Tech, and today it's my Leeds versus Chelsea predicted lineup. So let's get into my lineup. So in goal, I'm going to go with Edward Mendy. I think he'll play in goal. I mean, he's been good recently. He's been absolutely amazing. I think he will play in goal. Um, right centre back, Aspel Aqueta. He's probably a person who will stay in this team. Central centre back, I'm going to go with Andreas Christiansen. I think he will play again because he's been very, very good recently. He, I'm surprised he wasn't dropped, I mean, in the Everton game because of fitness reasons and stuff, because Rudiger was and he wasn't. And as left centre-back, I think, could be a return for Thiago Silva. He can play anywhere along the back three, but I think Rudiger will miss out again, unfortunately. I know he's been good, but I think he'll miss out. Right wing-back, Beast James, I think he'll play a right wing-back. Then I'm going to go in the two centre-pits, I'm going to go with Jante, with N'Golo Kante and Jorginho. Left wing back Alonso to play against. He was very good against Everton. In the cam, I'm going to go with Christian Pulisic. I know he hasn't really been playing that much recently. And he's only scored two goals and got one assist this season. I mean, if you look recently, he's been put, looking at he's going to be pushed for an exit, but hopefully he isn't. And then Cam, I'm going to go the other Cam earlier, Mason Mount. He was being brilliant. He was he was rested, I think, and then he got brought in the 60th minute for the game against Everton. And then up front, it's the main man. Kai Havertz. I think, I do think that Werner won't get in the starting eleven. I mean, I had a feeling it could be Hudson Odoi or Pulisic, but I'm going to go with Pulisic because of all the rumours. And then Silva to come back in for Rudiger. I mean, Rudiger didn't play against Everton, but he could still play. But I'm really not too sure about that. So let's get into the opposition side of things. Our opponents' leads. They are very, very inconsistent. They've only got one win in their last five. They're in eleventh place, only three points behind Arsenal. So they've been very. Everyone thought they'd be a very, very top. They probably they thought everyone finished. They could finish like top ten. I think I predicted them twelfth. So they're pretty close to where I predicted them. But if they actually go on a decent run of form, they can actually perform very well. I mean, right now what they're doing, um, Bielsa looks like he's not changing anything. He just sticks with the same thing. A bit like what Sarri did, just didn't change even when it's going wrong, even that when it's going right. The last result was a two 0 defeat against West Ham, which I remember they gave away the penalty. And then Lingard missed it, but then the Meslier parried it back out to him, and then he um, scored it, Lingard. So they've not been doing that well recently. We're only getting one win in the last five. And their top goal scorer, Patrick Blanford, former Chelsea player, of course. He's got 13 goals and five assists in 27 games. He's been good for them this season. Do you think that could be a thing that Chelsea shouldn't have let him go back in the summer of 2016, I think it was, when he left us? And then he's actually done well since he's been at Leeds. I mean, I think we sold him to Middlesbrough and then Leeds bought him. So my score prediction is going to be Leeds nil, Chelsea. I'm going to go with goals from Christian Pulisic on his return. I think he could get a goal like he did last time off the bench. Werner, who played it into him and he just tapped in. But Werner's not playing this game, but I think he'll score. And the other goal I'm going to go for Kai Havertz. He's been very good. He's been on very good form recently, so I think he'll get a goal. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Bye.